This is Badger, a 35-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built by Floating Homes in the year 2000. The current owners have had her for the last 16 years. She spent most of her life on the River Neen up at Peterborough and she's been immaculately looked after. The paintwork's in excellent condition. She's tidy both outside and in. The side hatch there you can see is, is enormous for narrow boats. I haven't measured it, but I would guess at three feet wide. Gives lots of light in the galley. She feels lovely. A bit like a floating cottage, I think. The well deck's three foot seven. And there is storage under the whole of the well deck. The water's in the front locker just here. So there is space accessed from behind the front steps, all under that. Lots of room to put things. The doors are steel, nice and secure. They're just fitted out in light ash. All the pictures are up at the moment. Most of those will be going. They're personal effects. It shows how cosy the boat can look. There's a solid fuel stove here in the corner. That's a hot home. That was brand new in October 2016. Television in the other corner, that's powered off 230 volts. The inverter does power that. And here's a fly screen. Very clever, very simple. We don't see many of them. Goes from the top to the bottom of the door. And there's a step I mentioned for access to under the well deck. Everything freestanding in here. The saloon's large, 13 foot 6, a couple of Rocking armchairs, here's my rocking demonstration. And this is unusual, I think it really works. Circular freestanding dining table. Light over it, four pine chairs, it's really lovely. That's one of three radiators on board, powered by a Webasto thermotop, runs off the diesel. And there's a cupboard with a stereo in. You could, if you were inclined, put a washing machine under there. Then the galley. There's the Valavanette <coughs> four gas burner hob, oven and grill. Very clean. Good cupboard space under the sink. And a cutlery drawer over that. There's the 12 volt shoreline fridge with an ice box. Quite a practical cupboard over. Everything you need in here. There's a view down from the end of the galley. Very spacious, very light, really cosy. Down the corridor on the starboard side. There's a large floor to ceiling cupboard here, I'll call it a larder cupboard. Use it, obviously, how you like. And then down into the bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me. Another radiator in here, good size shower cubicle. The space has been really well used on this boat. Well designed. There's the loo, that's a Thetford cassette. There's three cassettes on board. And here's an example of the space. There's a, I'm calling it a linen cupboard over the, uh, over the basin. Back out down the corridor. And backing onto the linen cupboard is another wardrobe. We'll come back and have a look at that. The way the door opens makes it a bit difficult going this way. Into the bedroom. Bed six foot four. Another radiator in here. This is the wardrobe I mentioned. Floor to ceiling, quite deep. Very practical. Little tea table here, coffee table. Just pops up, pops down. 
And the whole of the underbed is storage. There's three drawers at the foot of the bed in that unit there, and the rest of it's just open. Good sized drawers these are. Another television at the foot of the bed, there is free sat on board. That's 230 volt as well. Runs off the inverter. Shelf over the pillows there. Some shelves at the foot of the bed as well, you may have noticed. There's another wardrobe here. And then some shelves just to the right of the wardrobe. Lots of space on this boat for a 55 foot boat. Lots of storage, and then under the wardrobe there's more. There's even a secret locker on this boat for storing valuables. I won't be telling you where that is. Might share it with the owner, the new owner. Out onto the stern deck, six foot four, lots of room. Under here is the Perkins Prima type engine. Runs very reliably. And there's the gas locker. The gas is on the stern on this boat. Hence the water in the bow locker. And that's the view from the helmsman position. Lovely boat. That's Badger. For further photos and a fully downloadable brochure, go to rugbyboats.co.uk.